In the last video, we looked at a problem with the cube, and in this video, we're going to look at a problem with the pyramids. So these are two shapes that come up quite often because uh, you can break them up really easily into triangles. Okay, so uh, with this pyramid here, it has a square base of four centimeters. So that side's four, that side's four, so is that side, and so is BC there. Also, it says the perpendicular height is three centimeters. That isn't on the diagram, but it tells us the perpendicular height is three centimeters. And it's asking us to find first the length of AV. So that's what those two lines mean. It's the length from the point V, which is at the top, to point A here, so along this line. Uh, and then it's asking us to find the entire surface area of the pyramid, okay? So first I'm just gonna look at question one, then we'll uh, look at question two. So question one, first thing I'm gonna do is draw out the triangle, AOV. So that's gonna be a right angle triangle, like this. Like this here. Okay, so we know that this is going to be three centimeters. It's going to be perpendicular. Um, and then V, A, and O. Okay, I'm going to call this X. So right now, uh, if we look at our four rules, so we have Pythagoras, sine, cos, tan, sine rule, cosine rule. None of them are going to work because we need to have another side. We need to find AO, okay? So that's what we're going to look at next. We can't, can't get it straight away. So we'll start that over here and we'll go dark blue. How are we going to find AO? And the way we're going to do it is we're going to look at just a square based on its own. So if you look at B, C, D, A here, okay? It's a square. Each side is four. So I'll just draw that out. So I'm going to go square. B, C, D, A, it doesn't really matter if you say A, B, C, D, or B, C, D, A. Okay, four, 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 four. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut, and I'm gonna put a point O in the middle as well. We're gonna cut straight across, okay? So if you wanna draw our points, we have A, B, C, D. And then our point O, and we're going to try and get AC here using Pythagoras, okay? So because it's a square, we know that this is going to be a right angle, so I know the drawing is awful, but uh, it's a right angle because it's a square base. So that means we can say uh, AC squared, I'm just going to keep it in this notation, so AC squared is equal to 4 squared plus 4 squared. So that means AC squared is equal to 16 plus 16. 16 plus 16 is equal to, let's say, 32 over here. That means AC squared is equal to, um, yeah, 32. And then AC is equal to the square root of 32. Yeah, so that's the distance there between A and C. So if you want to look at it in the diagram here, between A and C. So if we want to find the distance between A and O, it's just gonna be half of that distance because if you drop that perpendicular down, it's gonna go exactly at the midway point, okay? So O is the midway point like you have in the diagram here. So that means if we wanna get the distance AO, it's just root 32 divided by two. And you can put it into your calculator if you want, but we wouldn't recommend it just because uh, it actually makes it less accurate because you end up rounding it up. Um, but anyway, so now we have AO here is equal to root 32 over two and we can find x now. So I'll go purple for it. I'm gonna say, ooh. Um, x squared is equal to three squared plus, make sure to square all of this. A lot of people will just square the top and then forget about the two on the bottom. Um, so x squared is gonna be equal to nine plus, so it's gonna be 32 on the top over four, uh, and that's going to be nine plus, 17, oh no, sorry, nine plus, uh, nine plus eight is what I meant. So I'll just go and erase that quickly. Nine plus eight is gonna be equal to 17. Da, 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 da. Here we go, nine plus eight, and that means x squared is equal to 17, and that means x is equal to the square root of 17. Okay, and that is our answer, because x is equal to AV, and that's the first part they're looking for. So find AV, we have that bit done, now we need to find the entire surface area of the pyramid, okay? 
So the surface area of the base should be handy enough. So I'll stick up here. I'm going to say area is equal to W by L, meaning length width by length. Um, and that's just four by four, which is 16 centimeters squared. Okay. But we need to find now the area of the four faces here. So these four faces of the triangles. Okay, so I'm going to write that, I'm going to start down here. We'll go yellow. How are we going to find that area? So the first thing I'm going to do is again break it up into smaller triangles. I'm going to look at VAD here. Okay. There we go. So this is VAD. So we know that uh, AV here is equal to root 17. And it's going to be the exact same on this side here, root 17. We know that this is equal to 4 AD. So what can we do? So there, I guess there are two ways of doing it. So you can either use the cosine rule. So you can try and get this angle here. Okay. A. And then using the cosine rule. If you want to have that angle, then you can use the formula that the area is equal to half um a b sine c where a and b are both the lengths of the sides on either side of the angle and the angle is whichever angle is in between those okay so you can either use that or if we just draw it out again quickly so there's always more than one way of doing it um a d v uh root 17 root 17 so about this okay and we're going to drop a perpendicular line down So it's going to be um, perpendicular because we know if we drop a perpendicular down isosceles triangle, it's going to be perpendicular. That's two and that's two because it bisects this line perfectly. Uh, and now this is H. Okay, so then we can use Pythagoras to get H. Uh, and then we can use the formula that area is equal to half by base by perpendicular height. I'm just going to do this one here quickly, okay? So area is e so first i'm trying to get going to get h so if we're talking about i'm going to draw a new point here called e so for the triangle a v e we have root 17 squared is going to be equal to h squared plus 2 squared so that means 17 is equal to h squared plus 4 and that means h is going to be equal to, sorry, h squared is going to be equal to 17 minus 4, which is 13. So h is equal to root 13. Box that off. I'm going to go to red. So now area is going to be equal to half by the base, which is going to be just 4. So that's the entire base by the perpendicular height, which is root 13. So that means the area of one face is going to be 2 root 13. Let's just box that off quickly. And then we can finish the question off just down the bottom here. Um, I'll just make a little bit of space. Okay. So that means that the area, so that's the area of one of the faces. That's the area of VAD. But it's going to be the same for the rest of the four faces. So if we want to find the t area of all the triangles, then area of triangles is just going to be equal to 4 times 2 root 13 which is just going to be 8 root 13 and that is in centimeters squared okay so that means the total area so I'm going to say total surface area is going to be 8 root 13 plus 16 centimeters squared. And if you want, you can turn that into a decimal place uh, or leave it like that. But there's our answer. So hopefully that made sense. Um, it is important to know to be able to kind of cut across a pyramid like that and how to get all the different triangles within it. And also to understand that the, that length there, so between V and this point here, isn't the same as AV. Because if you draw the triangle out, you can see that root 17 is going to be longer than this one here. Okay. Um, yeah, so those are two important shapes to do, cubes and pyramids. Hopefully they made sense. I had to cut it up into different 2D triangles. And again, each individual sum was just Pythagoras, Pythagoras, getting the area, 
um, yeah, more Pythagoras, and then again getting the area. So there's nothing really too complicated. It's just about being able to see which triangles to take um, and writing them out clearly and labeling them, everything like that. Okay, so the next video we're gonna do one more example and we're gonna move on to uh, different bits of trigonometry.